Hey Greenspun, today you are going to start gathering facts for a research project about the American Revolution. Hey Greenspun, today you are going to start gathering facts for a research project about the American Revolution. Now here is your rubric for your American Revolution project, and on the back is where you're going to start gathering all of your facts. You'll need at least 12 facts for your project today, and you'll need to show your teacher where you got those facts. Now you remember probably that you learned last year that you should not be Googling research facts anymore in junior high. That's so elementary school. So hopefully you've already had a chance to watch my incredible research video and lesson that you did back in sixth grade, which explains to you why you should not be Googling random information on the internet, but instead using research databases and also other tricks in order to make sure that your resources are credible and good enough for a research project. So I'm going to show you three things today. First of all, I'm going to show you where to find our research databases, how to log into them if necessary, and also how to make sure that the facts that you include on your research are going to be from credible sources. Okay, so hopefully you remember a little something about the incredible research lesson that we did last year when you were in sixth grade. It's the one with Hulk and Thor, and I made the joke about the credible Hulk. Uh, he always loves to make sure that you search for credible sources, and we talked about Stan Lee and all of that information about making sure that you use credible sources for your research. Basically, don't use Google for research projects. That's a big no-no in junior high, and especially in high school. Your high school teachers will laugh at you if you use Google for your research. So please, please, please get in the habit of using using our research databases for your research. So first of all, let me show you, remind you, where to find the research databases for Greenspun Junior High School. Now here on the library homepage at greenspunjhs.com, there is a button right over here in the top right hand corner called research databases. So when you click on research databases, it will take you to a list of all of the research databases that we have here at Greenspun. Now, the first research database that I have in the list is actually Destiny Discover, and I'm going to show you a faster way to search all of our research databases using Destiny Discover, but the ones that you'll be using especially for this research project include ABC Clio, Social Studies Database, Culturegrams, EBSCO databases. Some of you may have even started using Gale Opposing Viewpoints in some of your English classes, World Book Online Encyclopedia. Khan Academy is actually one of our research databases. So is BrainPop. And I also include Google Advanced Search, teachingbooks.net, and OnePlace here in our list of research databases. So this is one way that you can access our research databases. But don't forget that if you access these research databases off campus, if you are not here at school, you will need these usernames and passwords that are included with them. And that is because CCSD and Greenspun pays for you to have access to these research databases so you can do your research intelligently. And so you do have to type in a username and password for each of these databases if you are not on our Wi-Fi. It will automatically recognize that you're on our Wi-Fi if you're here at school, but if you're doing research using the research databases at home, the usernames and passwords are all right here on our library homepage for you. So you can access each individual one of these research databases. You can search for your topic and you can find some great facts that you can write down on your graphic organizer from ABC Clio, from EBSCO, and from World Book Encyclopedia. But there's an even faster and an even easier way to search all of these databases in one search. I'm going to show you how to do that right now with Destiny Discover. Now, like I showed you in sixth grade, there are actually several ways that you can get to Destiny Discover. One of the easiest ways, though, is right here on Clever. So if you just log into Clever and then click on Follow at Destiny Discover, that will take you directly to the Destiny Discover homepage, and you won't even have to log in. It will have your name up here in the top right-hand corner so that you'll know that you logged into Destiny Discover successfully. You can also, however, click in your GJHS bookmarks in the top left-hand corner of your screen. You can also just simply type destinydiscover.com into your address bar and there's also an app that's down in your shelf on the bottom of your Chromebook. So you can access Destiny Discover in lots of different ways. If you access Destiny Discover without using Clever though, you will have to type in a username and password and you can see that right here on the homepage of Destiny Discover. Your username is your ID number and your password is your first name. Now this login information is also on the back of every bookmark that we also hand out to every student who checks out a book here in the Greenspun Library. And you can also find that login information back here on the library homepage at greenspunjhs.com. The login information is here as well. But you only need your username and password if you are not using Clever. So the fastest and the easiest way is to use Clever or the app right down there at the bottom in your shelf on your Chromebook. 
Once you open up Destiny Discover and you are logged in, searching the research databases is just as easy as it is to search Google. So the first thing that you're gonna do is come right up here to the search bar and you'll just simply type in the name of your topic. So we are going to type in Paul Revere for my uh, topic. And I'm just going to search Destiny Discover for anything that I can find about Paul Revere. Now, pretty cool that we actually have four books in the Greenspun Library about Paul Revere, but we don't really use books for research anymore either because books are outdated the minute that they are printed. So I love reading and I love books, but I don't use books for research because they're out of date so quickly. So we always, always, always want to be using our research databases and even our educational websites for research. So when you are searching for your facts for your research project for today for the American Revolution, we we actually want to click on one of these tabs right here for websites and databases. So I'm going to start with the one that says databases. That's right here on the very end of my uh, search results. And that will bring up all of the facts that Destiny Discover could find in all of those research databases that were back on the library homepage at greenspongehs.com. So Destiny Discover searched all of those research databases in one search for me and found over 50 resources in the World Book Encyclopedia without me having to go to the World Book Encyclopedia first, type in Paul Revere over there, and then go to Culturegrams, type in Paul Revere over there, and then go to EBSCO and type in Paul Revere over there and then go to ABC Clio. The nice thing is Destiny Discover does it all for me. And so then I can click on each of these different research database results. I can find a good fact about my person's involvement in the American Revolution. I can write that fact right here in my graphic organizer and then I can tell my teacher which source that that fact came from, whether it was EBSCO or World Book or one of the other websites that I'm about to show you right now. So those are our research databases that you can find right here when you do a search result in Destiny Discover. But we also have an entire list of educational websites that are also really good for research projects. So when I click on websites, it's going to bring up hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of websites that have been vetted, which means that they have been checked for accuracy and to make sure that they are actually true and factual. So these are written by historians and professors and teachers and people who actually know what they're talking about, not just some random website that you found on Google that may have been written by somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they're talking about. So all of these websites that Destiny Discover found for you have all been checked and tested for factual accuracy. And that's why we want to use these for our research instead of just Googling our facts and information. So if we find any of the facts in here that we want to use for our graphic organizer, we can let our teacher know uh, that we found these on a .org website, a .gov website, a .edu website, or an other, as long as you used Destiny Discover for all of your research. Now, there's just one more place that I want to show you that you can find even more information for your facts for this project. Let's take a look at those right now. Now, I know that I said that I don't like using books for research projects because they're out of date so quickly. Almost as soon as they are printed, they can be out of date. But we do have a pretty awesome collection of ebooks, especially for the American Revolution Research Project, that are a really good resource for research. And you can find those right here on the homepage. You can search the library catalog for them, but we actually have a collection of them right down here where it says collections in the bottom of the Destiny Discover homepage. If you click on that collection, that will open up all of the American Revolution ebooks that I bought specifically for this project that would be excellent for your research. So there is a book about the Revolutionary War spies. There's there's books about all the different colonists, uh, biographies, key people of the American Revolution, uh, patriots of the Re American Revolution, and biographies of the American Revolution. So this is also another great place. You can open up these eBooks, uh, you can look at them, and you can decide if these are going to be a good resource for you as well. So the easiest way to search these eBooks is to simply start by opening them. And then if you've used Destiny to Discover before, especially any of the eBooks, you know that you can actually search the entire eBook the same way that you would search a website. So so once your ebook opens, up here in the top right hand corner, there will be a little magnifying glass that pops open and so that you can actually search for any instance in this book that the words Paul Revere show up in this book. And there is actually an entire chapter in this book about Paul Revere. And that would make an excellent resource for any research project using the facts that are here in this ebook. You could write down your facts on this graphic organizer, circle other as one of your options, and this would count as an amazing fact. So using the ebooks uh, on the homepage in the collection of uh, new American Revolution ebooks on the homepage of Destiny Discover is another awesome and amazing resource that you can use for this research project.
Now, remember also that as part of this project, you should be keeping track of all of your sources with proper MLA8 citations. You should be keeping a bibliography that keeps track of all of the sources that you use for this project. You'll be keeping track of those as well on your graphic organizer and circling on your graphic organizer where those citations came from, but you'll need to keep track of all those citations here in a bibliography. Now, you can keep all of your resources that you searched for in Destiny to Discover by favoriting them, and then you'll be able to come back to them really easily to find those resources resources. And if you use databases, remember the citation will be directly on the database. So you don't even have to do anything except copy and paste that citation from a database. If you used a website such as one of these uh, websites, remember that you have your MyBib extension up here in the top right hand corner. So when you click on your MyBib extension, it will open up and it's going to ask you to choose MLA8. And it will also tell you whether or not this source is credible. And if this source is credible, you can literally just copy that citation and then you can paste it into your bibliography so that you have that citation uh, in your bibliography and ready to go for uh, Mitch Slaughter's class. Make sure to make your citations a hanging indent. They should be double spaced and it should have the word bibliography up at the top of your screen, right up here at the top. So make sure that you are favoriting all of your resources in Destiny Discover as you are finding them and make sure that you are copying and pasting citations into a Google Doc that you have created for your bibliography. Okay, Greenspun, so for this project, as you start gathering your facts for your American Revolution research project, make sure that you are using the research databases. You can log into them individually on the library website at greenspunjhs.com, but I highly recommend that you use Destiny Discover to search all of the research databases by typing in one single search. And also make sure that you are circling which source you got each fact from on the back of your graphic organizer paper. Now, as you complete this video, make sure that you click view results at the very end of this video to ensure that this assignment gets turned in for you. If you have any questions about doing research for any research project or this one, please make sure that you see me, Mr. S, in the Greenspun Library. Good luck, everybody.